Hello friends and welcome to Zona Disc Golf. Okay, we continue our journey to understand the flight of a disc from a physics, from a scientific point of view, with another physics concept that we need to understand, which is the, the center of mass or center of gravity. This is an imaginary point where we could put all the all the mass of the of the body. If we divide it on 175 uh, pieces, this 175 gram disc, each of them would be attracted with a, a gram force to the, to the center of the Earth. And if we zoom all of them, uh, we would get one long arrow, which is called a vector, uh, measuring 175 grams force um, from the center of the disc. If we want to measure in newtons, one newton is more or less 100 grams, so it would be something like 1.7 newtons. Um, the position of the center of gravity is easy to see on the, on the plan view because it's symmetrical, so it's in the center of the disk. When we see the side view, it's actually not in the disk, it's below the disk because there's some material here, but the rim is heavier and it's below the, the plate. So the, the center of gravity would be actually a little bit below the disk in this air <laughs> below the, the disk. It's easy to see if you try to balance this on your finger, if you put it like this, it gets balanced easy because uh, the center of gravity is below the, the fulcrum, the, the point of support. So if I make any alteration, it self balances because it's like, a, like, like those toys for the, for the kids. The center of gravity is below. And if you put it upside down, every small <laughs> alteration gets magnified because the center of gravity is higher than the, than the fulcrum. No? Okay, what's so special about the center of gravity? If we apply a force to an object on its center of gravity, it doesn't turn, it doesn't make anything, it keeps its uh, relative position. Uh, but when we throw a disc, we don't grab it on the center of gravity, there's no way to grab here, we grab it on the rim. So we introduce a momentum, we tend to make the disc spin. If the disc is free, it, uh, it, can, it, it spins around its center of gravity. If it would be a bicycle wheel, it would uh, spin around its axis, of course. Uh, how intense is this moment? How much does it want to spin? Uh, it depends on three variables. First is the, the, of course, the force that we apply when we throw the disc. We apply it here on the rim. The second one is the, um, the position vector, so it's the distance between the point of application and the center of gravity. The higher the distance, the, the, the stronger will be that momentum. You know, on a big disc, it's easier to, to spin. And uh, the higher the angle, the, the closer the angle to 90 degrees, uh, the higher will be this, that uh, angular momentum. We can see if we try to close a door, it's easier to close a door if you push on, of course, uh, far away from the hinges. Of course, you, ma you, make, you have more leverage. That's, that is the position vector, the leverage. It's easier to close it if you push at 90 degree direction from the door, of course, if you try to push uh, looking at, <laughs> on the direction of the hinges, it, you are less effective. And of course, you close it easier if you push harder. So those are the three variables. We apply an, the vectorial uh, product, which is indicated by an X, and we get, we, so we are able to resume that uh, angular momentum on one single vector, uh, it's called a pseudo vector, which of course part, uh, begins on the center of, of, of mass, which has the length of that uh, vectorial product. It's perpendicular to the plate of the disk, and we still have to, to fix the direction. It could be upside or downside. And this is fixed using the, the right hand rule. If you take your hand like this, and you put your fingers following the movement of the disk. If, I, if I'm uh, right-handed and I throw a backhand, it will turn to the right clockwise. So if I put my fingers clockwise, my thumb looks uh, uh, downwards. So the, that angular momentum points downwards. Okay, so this big arrow is, um, resumes all the uh, 
angular momentum of the disk. Why is, it, is this important? This is very important because of the gyroscopic effect that will uh, resist uh, the rest of the movements and that is important to, to the flight of the disk. So, uh, we'll continue our journey now with the first aerodynamic uh, chapters uh, about the, the speed number. So, see you in Zona Disc Golf.